June 6th, D-Day. And uh, for day trading, it was actually a really, really good day today so far. <clears throat> it's only a 1.30. Well, it's 1.30. A lot of people usually are done quite early in the day uh, as day traders. I usually continue looking for trades throughout the day. Most of my best trades are later on in the day looking for setups, uh, bouncers or pullbacks, whatever it might be. But today I had a couple of trades um, early that really worked out. Uh, but first, one of, the, one of the big trades of earnings was at home group. Um, had a big drop today on earnings. If we look at the uh, yearly here, you see it dropped from yesterday. It was right here and a big drop today, right? So a lot of people were shorting this. Um, <clears throat> the uptick rule was in effect. Uh, I almost got into this, but I was, I was in another trade and I just stopped paying attention to it. But uh, this is the kind of short that I love, especially these, these ones that drop on earnings. So on this five minute chart, you can see the eight EMA exponential moving average and the 20 SMA. Um, my keys right here uh, tells you everything that, I'm, that I have up uh, on this chart. Um, and I like when a, draw, a stock uh, gaps down and then these catch up and see what happens. And right here, uh, if I wasn't in another trade, I probably would have gotten in somewhere around here. Once the 20 caught up and, the, and it was below the 8 EMA and it kept using that as resistance, probably would have gotten in maybe right around here. And if not, I would have gotten in when it, bounced, when it hit its head again right here um, at 9.15 and maybe put my stop at around 9.30ish. Uh, and you could see what happened throughout the day. Now, it, the uptick rule was in effect. Um, so that means that it would have been no guarantee really that I could have gotten the short uh, position fill that I wanted um, just because it, the, if you don't know what the uptick rule is basically any, any stock that drops a certain percentage um, too quickly on um, the day they they um, put in this countermeasure basically to prevent a runoff um, that says the stock has to go up a certain amount before a, a short can be filled um, usually you could still get filled if, if it's if there's enough volume um, but yeah, getting in here right here around nine, just above nine, it would have been a nice drop all, all the way almost down to eight. But I didn't get into that one. Another one that dropped today um, that I was looking at was Stitch Fix. Um, this one dropped, if you look at the yearly, uh, dropped after it gapped up. So you see this green line is the 200 moving average on a daily chart, which is I use it on the five minute chart and the daily chart. And uh, it's really helpful uh, because a lot of times stocks will... Um, uh, either use that as a springboard or uh, kind of gravitate towards it if it's gapped over it, um, which it did here. You can see it gapped up to around 29, 25, and then it dropped throughout the day. Um, I just didn't like the the movement on this stock. Um, it just wasn't it wasn't to my liking. It was a little erratic here, bouncing around. Nothing. There's really no pattern setting up here, so it would have been tough to get into this one. It, basically, if you got into this one, you probably would have gotten in at the... If I was to get in anyway, I would have gotten in at the open, the small position, and, gen, and then just, um, like, after it had this little green pullback right here, maybe around 28.85, and you'd have to put almost a dollar stop on it, really, which means your, your position would be kind of small. Um, but if you did, 28.85, it went down about 26.60 something, so you would have gotten rewarded for it, but it's just it's so messy. There's long wicks, there's just real no pattern, so couldn't really do much with that. Um, but the stock I did get into early, and this was a trade idea scan that I had, and I'll show it to you. This is my View App 200 Moving Wedge. Um, I designed this this uh, uh, this scan, a lot of specific parameters, doesn't offer a ton of um, alerts, and a lot of times the alerts, like once I look at it right away, like I'll, I'll show you one that right away I know I would never have gotten into, so Matador, yeah. So this was, this alerted me to Matador at around 10:43, so about right here-ish. And then looking at this, it's so sloppy. I would have said no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a straight. So it alerts very few, and even the ones that does alert, I can weed them out pretty quickly. Um, so when something pops in here that does look really good, um, it usually is a is a really nice trade to have if, if if I can identify it quickly enough. And that was IQ. So exactly 10 o'clock, or a little seven seconds after 10 o'clock. IQ alerted and you could see why it alerted for um, the scan looks for stocks that are kind of above view app and approaching the 200 moving average on a five minute chart and it alerted me at 10 o'clock at 1767 so right about here um, I actually got in it pulled back a little so I got in at 1064 and then you can see it popped within that first five minutes popped all the way up to the 10 uh, the 200 moving average now this is where I wanted it to get to 1785 I actually put a trailing stop on it 
um, and their original stop was just 10 cents because usually if I trade early in the day, especially not with these um, these VWAP wedge uh, plays, I am basically just looking for a scalp. Um, and I kind of wish I had scalped it right here at the top here at 1783. I thought I could get up to my target 1785 and it just pulled back and look what happened. I pulled back here and I got stopped out at 1772. So I only got... Uh, I got in at 1764 and I got out at 1772, so only eight cent gain, uh, just a small little profit. Um, and then you can see this little bottoming doji here, and then it popped right back up and went through my target. So I kind of screwed myself over here with the, with the um, trailing stop because if I just kept my stop below view app here, I could have just followed it up and then taken some out. Uh, but again, it, it wasn't. It's, this is not very pretty. You can see it's very whippy, um, and so. Uh, I really have a, a quick trigger finger on, on my exits when I enter stocks um, from this scan because um, usually they're not exactly, uh, you know, they're not, they're not moving smoothly, they're moving quickly. Um, and when there's a big gap, usually when I get an alert in the middle here between VWAP and 200, I, I get in because I know a lot of time it'll just, it'll quickly touch that 200 moving average and pull back, um, which it kind of did here. So, uh, so just a small gain on IQ uh, early in the day, um, and uh, but the the one that I really liked that I got into and I, I made a nice uh, profit on was Ares Management Corp. Diversified Financial Services. Uh, I've seen this before. I don't really know much about it, um, but as you can see, it um, was a stock that. I uh, was moving down today, and I think you could see the pattern that I, I very much like um, that I kind of uh, fell into uh, was a uh, stock moving down, I think, on the yearly. It wasn't a gapper. Um, I think this showed up in my uh, – oh, it did show up in my gappers list. So it must have gapped it a little bit today. Yeah, I guess it did. So it was um, it was there around 26.60 yesterday, and then it gapped down to 26.22. So a small gap down, not a huge gap. But enough to trigger um, the alert, um, and you can see here a big topping tail to start the day. So if anybody was lucky enough to get in here at 2615, they could have ridden it down all the way to about 2529. I waited for it to kind of catch up to the 8 EMA, and for the 20 SMA to catch up. Um, and you can see what happened when it did. There was a nice little topping doji here, um, and it couldn't get above the 20, uh, the 8 EMA. So I got in right here as soon as it hit its head on there because I said I could put my I can enter here at 2578 and put my stop above the 20 SMA. So I put my stop at about 2590 something, uh, and I just rode it all the way down as it kind of nicely. It was nice and smooth. You could see it was it was moving with the ADMA nicely, and then all of a sudden it fell off a, a table here. And my first target was 2554, uh, and I just exited everything at that target, especially since it started pulling away from the ADMA quickly, and I was a little nervous for a, a big bounce. Plus, when you look at the yearly, there might have been, you see um, right here, some resistance at the bottom of these uh, candles a few days ago in the 2565-ish um, range. Um, so I was worried once it broke through that it was going to whip right back but you can see what happened it actually continued down a lot so i missed out a little bit by exiting all my shares here 25 um 54 for a 24 cent gain because i got in at 25.78 so it was a decent short um but it actually went all the way down to 25.29 um so uh kind of missed out or no i'm sorry 25.27 was the low of this this little indecision yellow doji there so over 50 cents but I'm not too upset because obviously a nice, uh, nice tight gain. I hit my first target, which is a two to one, based on what my stop was. Uh, and then you can see after it hit bottom here, it started to come back. So um, I don't know if it's going to continue down again. It looks like it might recover um, throughout the rest of the day. But I'm done with it. That was that was all I needed. Um, so yes, the only other stocks I really was looking at. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about getting into this VRM here at 20, 1271 kind of went down to about 1251 about 27 or 20 cent drop but yeah the only th those are the only ones i really um we're looking at that stitch fix and home and but this was the real winner for me this was a nice i just love these shorts these are the ones that really make the like if i could just find one of these every day i'd be happy because they're just so um 
low risk really you just get in if it stays below 8 EMA, 8 EMA and the 20 SMA you're golden you just follow it down you can keep moving your stop down above the 20 as it goes and then just exit as you feel comfortable and that was my trade those were my trades for today um, IQ and Eris uh, so that's it I'll be watching this see if this actually ends up going up a little higher see if I I really messed out by getting out early um, but either way it was a good day two decent trades and I'll be back uh, tomorrow, Friday, hopefully, with another trade to show you. Good luck.